Yep, I got one. Mm, my line broke. What is going on? Ah, that was another big one. Probably got me in a rock. There's rocks all over over there. Oh man, I was gonna leave now. I'd like have to go get my other fishing pole and like actually come back here and fish. So you just saw the ending to a, a video I was working on and uh, I was using four pound line. My old, like that's what I used to use all the time. That whole setup. It's a great setup. I've caught so many fish on that four pound line and light to uh, ultralight setup. But man, you can tell a huge difference when, once I started using uh, the 6.9 medium light with 10 pound braid, eight pound leader. There's such a big difference in durability and just sensitivity, extremely big on sensitivity and just a little bit more strength uh, so I'm going back. I'm, I wasn't gonna plan on going back, but I'm going back and I'm gonna go for some of them bass with my more comfortable, better setup. Yep, there's one already. That was the first I had cast. Uh, that's a smallmouth too. Dude, I think I, th I think it's you know it's that time right when they get turned on right before dark. Uh, also, so boom, a little smallmouth, but I saw some that were nice in here, and the ones a couple I lost had to be over two pounds. So I'm hoping to get one of those. There's one, little one. Where you at? Where you at? Rock bass. Ooh, yeah. Okay, that was too pretty fast. They're they're definitely ready to eat right now. They're like ready to eat. Oh, there's a fish. Not bad. I think. What? Oh, that's a rock bass. Man, I think it's black. That's the blackest one I've ever seen. Wow. All right. Oh, man. I think we're racking up on these rock bass here. Oh, that's a little smallmouth. Okay. He's a little one, but. I thought for sure I'd get another big one by now, but still getting some fish. All right, so this is a, a new creek. It's actually the first day I've ever been here. It's a little small town in Middle Tennessee. The creek's a real long creek. I've heard of the name of it before, so it's something I'm similar or kind of familiar with, but I uh, just never had fished before. Um, so I don't have a lot of time. The sun's gonna be going down soon. I'm either gonna get right back on them or I'm just gonna get back down here and not get anything, but we're gonna give it a little try. That was a good one at first. What is it? A little uh, rock bass. No, another smallmouth. These little ones are uh, real active. All the bigger ones are, are bedding and stuff, and but I'm, they gotta eat at some point too. Some of them, anyways. Got the little swim bait. Oh, that's a pretty little fish, though. Nice. We got another smallie. The little ones are hitting it. They're definitely hitting the swim bait pretty good. I'm just kind of working my way back up and just, just casting as I'm walking, hoping to come across a big one, but I like catching uh, I like catching these too. That's a good fish. That's a good one. That's might be one I was looking for. That dude is strong. I don't know how big it is, but it's a pretty good one. Should be hooked pretty good. Yeah. Not a, not a massive giant, but a really good fish. Okay, okay, okay. That swim bait doing the work. I can cast it around a lot further, cover a lot more water. Man, this guy, I thought he was bigger than that. That guy was strong. He's not even a, like a giant or anything. 
little uh, white Nico swim bait. That's a pretty fish. That's a good creek bass there. Okay, that's, I got a little ways to go back up, but this, this section through here looked, looks so good. There's a lot of water. He was in the back there. I don't know if I'll get any more. I didn't get anything on the way down through here. Maybe I'll get more than one on the way up, but that's a nice little bass. Oh, another one. Same spot back in this back of the uh, back of this pool here, which a lot of times that's that is where they will kind of be eaten. So um, not too surprising to catch them there, but there's two of them right there in the back of that pool. Oh, oh, I got one. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I, I think he chased another one away. I casted. <laughs> that was pretty cool to see. I watched him bite it because I, I let my, I was wrestling my drag because it was kind of stiff and let the lure just drop to the bottom. And I thought I saw fish swim by. I just twitched it and he picked it up, made it. <laughs> okay, there you go. There's three at the back of this pool here. So I want to fish, just cast all directions before I, Start moving forward. There could be some right in front of me. So, give him a chance. Yep, another one. Oh, he was. He was right in front of me. He didn't bit, bite till it was right in there. Little guy. Man, a bunch of them back in here. Oh yeah, there's one. Getting kind of deep here. Little guy. Man, they're really, I can't believe it. I actually came through here, down, going downstream with the Helgramite, casting around, didn't get a single, I don't remember getting a single fish out of here. Maybe a rock bass. Come back up, casting with the swim bait, just getting a bunch of them. There's another one. I ain't quite done yet. Oh, that's a rock bass. Well, yo, it's a big old rock bass. Yep. They like that swim bait. That is for sure. I'm glad to see that they're hitting that, getting real active hitting that stuff. There's one more. I am really glad to see that they're like really hitting this swim bait. And just think of all the fish that are on beds that are just preoccupied, that are out there where I, I can't see their beds and they're just not coming off. I've caught a, quite a good, a pretty good amount of fish for the really short time I was here. A little small mouth, especially with all the ones on beds and everything. So I'm really happy with this creek. And um, I, you know, it's, it's a pretty good sized creek and it's something I'm definitely gonna have to, uh, that bed right like there, looks like it might have been on bed. Something I'm gonna have to uh, keep in my memory, come back to you one day. Oh, oh, it came back. I thought I missed one, came right back for it. These little ones are wearing this thing out. I started using this little Nico swim bait uh, last year, and I started and I was catching a lot of fish on it. Creeks like big creeks and little rivers and stuff like that. I was really doing good, and uh, I've been trying it a few times recently and haven't really been getting hits on it. But today they are really hitting it. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, he's little. They swallowed that thing. He was not messing around with it. All right. Oh, 
Ooh. It was bound to happen one time today. Whew. Everything stayed dry for the most part. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> that was a slick rock. Yeah, well, can't let that stop me. Let me go a little bit further, just a little bit further. Oh, well, look at that. A dead armadillo. They don't have as many around me. They're they're more middle middle in West Tennessee, but they're probably moving that way. There we go, got that one. That might be one of them that hit it. Something kept hitting it out of there. He's not a bad little fish. I right, got you that time. He was up in the current here. Got a little small jaw. Oh yeah, wow. He was up in this shallow current area. Barely got him. He hit it right at the end. Good little small mouth. He was way up in here. All right, there we go. Might be the last one. The water's really changing. It's really uh, starting to be a lot more flow, but man, there's the fish are up in here and it's getting a couple of them. Oh, see a bridge up there. We got definitely gotta get up there and fish from under that bridge. All right, that bridge is the last part. Here we go. Yeah, it's worth coming up here to this bridge. And it looks like a really good area up here. He was hanging around back. It's also another more gar and stuff swimming around in there. That's a good fish. That's a pretty good one. Just trying to be easy with it. Because uh, I've been rubbing off a bunch of bunch of rocks. Yeah, it's not a giant, I like that, but it's a good, good little bass. Pretty cool, but right by this old uh, bridge here, or this old pillar there. All right, come on. Maybe the biggest one today, or uh, yeah. I don't quit. Yeah, it's a solid little bass. That's awesome. That's really cool. He's a chunky little guy too. Man, great time with this new creek. Just a great time checking out what's in it, catching some good fish. Obviously, you can't catch the big ones whenever, you know, you're not usually gonna catch a big, the big fish the first time you go to a new creek. But whenever you can get a bunch of fish like this and some good, good quality ones, that's always a really good, good start to a creek. All right, another little, about a, about a pound, probably a smallmouth. Just an awesome little fish. What a great little place to end this out um, up here at this bridge. Uh, of course, it's I went further than I tended to, and that usually happens. I was actually gonna fish it earlier in the day, and then I changed my mind, did something different, then came back to this creek, fished it maybe three hours, probably probably a solid around three hours. Great amount of fish, just some really really good um, smallmouth. Uh, I, I saw some bigger fish, and I saw some uh, like bedding and some like two and three pounders, and I I kind of was hoping to get on one of those. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any of those, but um, had, a, had a great good time. And a, a new creek I can check off. I want to fish, if you don't know this, I live in Southeast Tennessee, but I want to fish as many creeks, and mainly creeks, all around Tennessee that I can. So here's another one, about two hours, probably two, two and a half hours from where I live that I can check off that I got. I can mark it on my maps and come back to it one day. Obviously, I can travel and, and uh, do a lot of these creeks and explore, and, and, but there's, there's places out there to find that, you know, if you got a Saturday, just spend a Saturday, especially if you live in Tennessee, you could drive an hour, two hours, just find some back roads and just, you know, there's probably a place that people park and fish 
there was people, there was like 10 people kayaking at the first spot that I went to, wanted to go to, and two people waiting. Went to another bridge, and it's a little bitty town. Went to another bridge, and there was people fishing there. I ha actually had a hard time finding, of course it was a Saturday and a really nice day out. I really appreciate everybody watching the support. Uh, today is actually the day that I just crossed 50,000 subscribers. I know it's, it's, you probably won't see this video for a few weeks, but uh, I'm glad I'm able to out, get out here and um, fish, find these places. The sun's going down, I'm gonna get out here and start, I guess, heading back to the house.